Our first global intersection piece comes from um, the from Spain, and it is called Angel with Archibus, a Ciel Timor de, which means Angel Asiel. It's done by the Master of Calamarca from the La Paz School, and it dates from the 17th century, and it's oil on canvas. So technically, this is from the Vice Royalty of Peru, as opposed to from others which are from New Spain, and an administrative and political district that was founded in 1543, and it existed until 1824. The territory at its peak consisted of the majority of South America, excluding Portuguese territory of Brazil. It was where the old Inca Empire was in the Andean Highlands. It had the world's richest silver deposits that were found, and Cusco became the region's most important cultural center. Cusco hosted, um, hosted colonial painting schools in the mid-17th century. The art of the Cusco school often is characterized by depicting clothing in an extremely decorative manner placed in Andean landscapes in the background and discreetly connecting native everyday life with European Baroque art. So this is considered Baroque. The school also included artists from different social levels, including European immigrants, Native Americans, and mestizos. So this mix gave birth to a different style. So each artist in the school was responsible for a different part of the painting. So one of the artists would paint the hands, then a different one would paint the face, clothes, background, etc. So it's kind of like an assembly line. This one is depicting angels as divine messengers and soldiers, and that was not uncommon. Angels have been regarded as defenders of humanity against evil forces, and have been depicted with arms and armor. Think about the Theotokos uh, with the St. George um, that we talked about the other day. Um, the angels, the difference is that most of these depictions have them dressed in Roman, like antique fashion. Angels that are dressed as warriors with firearms, puffed clothes, and infantry banners is unique to South America and are seen throughout the region in churches all over the Andean highlands. This is a quite fashionably dressed angel armed with what's called an arquebus or a shotgun produced by the Spaniards. As opposed to a traditional sword, it is showing Spanish technology. In a military pose derived from European engravings of military exercises, the outfit is what descendants of Inca royal lineage of the area would wear at the time. Um, not totally sure if that's exactly what's happened, but most people believe that. Now he has a humongous hat, and that's associated with wealth in Europe. The feathers in the Americas would have been associated with priests and royals. This type of image, a fancy angel with a gun, becomes produced in this area. The depictions are clearly supposed to address the native people. Only the Spanish were allowed to have firearms, and many natives still saw them as nearly at the same level as magic. Another way this is addressed to the natives is that there was widespread use of military language and allegories connected to faith. Evidence shows that the colonial leaders were using military connotations by connecting military terms to faith and, in a sense, is propaganda in the defense of the Eucharist. So the style we're seeing in his outfit is believed to have both Flemish and Spanish influence. It's considered unique and is a combined style of Iberian, which is Spanish, Moorish, which is is Muslim and indigenous. This is the time of the Counter-Reformation in which Catholics view themselves as protectors of the church and that's probably why he is armed with a shotgun. In Europe at the time angels are diminishing in popularity but it becomes more popular at this time in the Americas. Europeans are trying to figure out how to make their beliefs of interest to local populations and a warrior angel may link more to a warrior cultural heritage of the native population. 
As I said before, it's considered Latin American Baroque art, which is considered magnificent and theatrical form of art, whose purpose was to induce the Native American population to accept the power of God and king through religion and force, and that is seen with the firearm. The Baroque style was a perfect way of conveying to the indigenous people that the ideas they have should, that the um, idea is that they should accept their new reality and destiny and be okay with it.